week seven of your chronic disease rehabilitation program. I'm so glad you're sticking with this. I know you must be starting to feel some of the benefits of exercising more regularly. Um, should it be just maybe not as much shortness of breath when you're washing your hair, when you're making your bed, you're able to walk all the way to the up the laneway to go check the mail without having to stop several times. Those are all very positive benefits of exercising more regularly. So keep with it and you'll improve even further. Today's workout will be using our weights or hand weights for um, uh, strength component and uh, we will be um, what else? Or oh, doing uh, 14 repetitions of the strength exercises. So we're getting up there, uh, really working on improving our strength, and that will make a big difference in your overall uh, energy level when you're trying to do all the things that you want to do. Because if you're stronger, you won't get as tired, and if you don't get as tired, you won't get as short of breath. So uh, it all works together quite nicely. So let's get started with. Um, our um, warm up for today. So we're going to start with our neck. We're going to breathe in, look up. Breathing out, bring the chin down. direction last one move a little forward on your seat holding your forearms we do trunk rotation down, hip flexion. One more each side and we kick.
one more on each side. Keep one leg up, circle with that ankle, and let's do circles with the wrists. Switch side. Put it down, other foot, ankle rolls. This time, you're gonna go up and down with the wrists. Put the wrist down, circle the other way. Perfect, put it down. start with our cardio segment. As usual, we start with our marching. Remember that if you still get tired when you're marching and doing both the arms and the leg motion, you can always choose to just do one or the other. Kicking the heel forward, alternating each leg. those heel digs and let's add a punch. hip width apart, forearms at shoulder height, we do speed bag. Switch direction. And we stop. more marching. Good. 
bending the elbows. Holding on to your chair, your sideways to your chair, you're going to touch back, knee up, touch back, knee up. One more and we switch, switching leg, last one, great gonna toe touch forward alternating each leg where is your reading of perceived effort right now is it too light could do this all day? Is it too hard? Or is it just right? That kind of sounds like the Goldilocks story. It's just right. One more each leg. All right, that concludes the cardio segment. On to our strength segment. So make sure your hand weights are not too far. Grab a seat. We're gonna start without the weights right now. We're gonna do some chair sit-ups. Actually, maybe I'll put my chair sideways. I want you to sit at the front of your chair. You can have your legs out a little bit in front of you. You can have your hands resting on your legs. If you want a bit more of a challenge, you can have your arms across your chest. And if you want even more challenge, you could grab one of your weights and hold it in front of your chest. So you're gonna do is you're breathing in, you're gonna lean back, touch the back of the chair if you can, tighten your core muscles, breathing out as you lift back up. And we go. weights in front of the shoulders your hands are facing forward take a breath in breathe out and press up
two more each side. Release those weights down. Shake those shoulders out a bit. Okay, keep your weights just above the knees. We're gonna lift the heels up and down. One more. Arms are at the sides. We're doing shoulder abduction. You're only going to lift your arm up to shoulder height. I want you to lift sideways, keeping your palm facing down. Breathing in, breathing out, alternating. Lost track. I think this is the last one. Put your weights above the knees again. This time we're doing hip flexion. So bringing the knee up towards the ceiling. One more each side. Come a bit forward on your seat if you're not already there. Keeping your back nice and straight. I want you to uh, lean forward at the hips. Arms come down at each side of the legs. You're gonna pull the elbows up, squeeze those shoulder blades together and release down. than your hips holding on for support as needed as you lower down hips are coming way back knees are not going past your toes and we go for 14 
make sure your weight is on your heels when you're lowering down my toes are like lifting up a little bit that's how far back my weight is Last two, make them good. All right, hip abduction. So that's kicking the leg to the side, holding onto your chair for support, making sure your knees is straight, but not locked and your toes keep pointing forward. Kicking to the side. Switch leg. hip width apart I want your toes pointing out a little bit we're gonna do our heel raises with our feet pointing out the opposite point those toes in and again lift those heels up the burn in the calves let's stretch those out stepping back front knee is bent the front your thighs if you can hold on to your ankle or pants if you cannot put your knee on your chair step forward so you feel a pull in the front of that leg same with the other 
a seat, do a bit of shoulder stretch, hand on opposite shoulder, grab that elbow, pull it closer. Switch side. When you're doing your cardio exercise at home, should it be walking, biking, swimming, dancing, whatever you do that is done at a moderate intensity for a continuous time period, you could always just repeat the cardio segment of the exercise video uh, a few times so that you have your 10 minutes or 20 minutes of cardio for the day if you can't go outside, for example. The goal of cardio exercise is to get the heart rate and breathing rate to increase so that your heart and lung can improve their endurance. So you have to increase that heart rate and breathing rate for a continuous amount of time and when you do that regularly, that's when your fitness improves. So last stretch is bending your head forward. center there you have it your week is done now your workout has to be done one more time or two more times so a total of two to three times per week to do those workout videos and then your cardio activity uh, most of the days uh, as well all right you take care see you next week